everyone welcome to fusion design in this video we'll look at how to switch between the metric and the imperial system and how to change the user preferences to make this easier for you to draw so first before we get started let's have a look at what we can and cannot change when using AutoCAD whether you're using the metric or the imperial system there are certain units that you can customize and certain you want to take from the templates that you choose so for the custom side that will determine the insertion scale that we will find from our user preferences as well as the dimension style from our templates we can get the drawing units and the default scale list how does the metric and imperial system compare to each other well, first of all, 1 foot or 12 inches is equal to approximately 30 centimeters. 1 inch is equal to approximately 2,54 centimeters or 25,4 millimeters. And 3 feet is just over 91 centimeters, that is almost 1 meter. So now let's have a look where do we start. If I go to AutoCAD at my start page, I can select a new drawing. So I'll click on this icon over here and I've got templates to select from. Now if I want to work in the Imperial system, I have to go and select the template that says ACAD. If I want to use the metric system, I have to select ACAD ISO will work with the imperial system for now. Select ACAD and open. There won't be any noticeable differences right from the start. If I were to draw a rectangle and I go to home, select the rectangle, the specifications for the units that I need to insert is still in millimeters. So I need to go and change that. I'll go escape go to my application menu and we want to go to drawing utilities and units here I can check that I have got my inch insertion scale correct and it's at inches I also want to change the length type from decimal to architectural and the degrees I can leave at decimal degrees and click OK Next, you want to go to Options and make sure that your insertion scale is at inches for both the source content units and the target drawing units. Then you can also go to your default scale list and make sure that Imperial is selected. Click OK, Apply and OK. Now if I were to draw a rectangle, I'll go click on it and you can see the dimensions are displayed as feet and inches. Now I can draw my rectangle using imperial measurements. I can also go and adjust my scale according to the imperial system when I want to go ahead and plot. Now if I want to change back to the metric system, I'll have to go and open up a new drawing, select ACAD ISO, open, and for this drawing I have to change the same functions. So I'll go to the application menu, drawing utilities and units, make sure that the insertion scale is millimeters. And the insertion scale should be correct if you have selected the correct template. It was inches in drawing one and now in drawing two it's millimeters. I'll leave the length type as decimal and I'll just change the precision to be two places after the decimal. And I can click OK. Next I'll go to my options, go to my user preferences and I'll change the source content units to millimeters as well as the target drawing units. And I'll go 
go to default scale list and make sure that my scale list is on metric. Click OK, apply and OK. Now if I draw a rectangle, I can see I'm back to using millimeters. And if I go to my scales list, I've only got the metric scales here, not the imperial scales. So I've shown you up until now how to change the drawing itself. When you've done your drawing, you want to go and add in your dimensions. So your dimensions also need to change according to which system you're using. I'll draw a rectangle on the metric drawing and I'll make that 2000 by 1000. And I'll do the same for drawing one. I'll do, draw a rectangle and for this rectangle, I'll make it two feet, six inches by a foot and six inches. Now, if I go and draw a linear dimension on my rectangle that is two feet, six inches, this measurement is incorrect for the drawing I'm working in. So I want to type in D for dimension style, press enter, and I'll go and modify this dimension style. So I can go to modify, and I want to go to my primary units and change the unit format. And I want to change it to architectural. And click OK, and close. And once I've done that, you can see that the dimension has changed and now it's showing the correct measurement. I can go and draw in another dimension for the vertical. And if I zoom in, you can see one foot six inches. So now this drawing is set up correctly for an imperial system drawing. If I go to drawing two and I draw in the dimension, I'll have to scroll in because this dimension style is not set up as I want to use it yet, but we can use it to look at the measurement and that's 2000. And if I draw another dimension on the vertical, I place it there and I can see it's 1000. Now, as I've said, the dimension styles aren't set up yet. So go and check out the other video that I've uploaded on this channel to learn how you can set up your dimension styles so that they are displayed clearly and accurately for your preferences. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you would like more content like this in the future. Goodbye.